Hello, Leo viewers. I'm going to check in and see what's going on with your situation. I know the last video I did, I was getting that um, there was a ne necessary separation with you and someone else. Someone was just not learning the easy way. So they pretty much had to go down their own path and, um, you know, see things, see the other side of the world, see things for themselves. You know, they weren't really listening to you. They just kind of had to go experience that for themselves. Could be a karmic situation too, where they chose someone else over you. Maybe people warned them that this person was toxic, but they didn't listen. But there's just this energy where they, um, they learned a really tough karmic lesson. They, they, I know that you wanted it to go more smoothly for them. I think that you wanted it to just you wanted just to learn together, but instead they just, they were very stubborn. So they had to go down their own path and learn the hard way. And now they're wanting to come crawling back to you. So let's see what's going on. Um, if you're drawn to my channel too, there is a good chance that you have new love coming in as well. Because most of the people that are drawn to my channel just are in that energy where there are exes coming back around, but you also have new love. Um, someone that might be, you know, better suited for you too so let's just see what the situation is um leo's what is please cards be clear and direct what is the situation with uh leo's love life over the next like say two or three weeks or so what's going on there what do you have to say leo's what do you have to say what's the situation King of Wands, could be another fire sign, Eight of Cups, Page of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, Nine of Wands, The Tower, okay, Two of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, alright, interesting energy we got here, you guys see that okay, I think so, okay. Can I get a couple cards just to clarify this energy? It's a little confusing. Queen of Cups. Okay. Ten of Pentacles. I see something about money here. Okay, I'm seeing money more than anything in this reading. Hmm. Okay, so this is just a quick message for maybe a select few of you that I need to give you. And I'm going to pull cards to get a love reading here because I'm looking at this and I keep thinking like, what does this have to do with love? This is like nothing to do with love, but it's a warning that some of you needed. Um, I feel like you need to be cautious with your, with your money right now. And again, this could just be for a select few people. But there's something about finances it's like this person wants you to come away with them kind of start a new life a new adventure maybe like a business partnership something and you're starting something new here but then there's like this defensive energy and then you see her she's defensive too when we got this this tower moment and two of wands making choices and then the seven of pentacles is about something that you've worked really hard for that you've bled for you know um then we've got like this this card of like poverty um poverty and Four of Pentacles is like kind of holding on to your money. Hmm, how do I even take that? How would I even interpret this? It's like, there's just a warning about finances, which makes sense because Mercury retrograde is coming up. So you have to be a little bit extra cautious when it comes to finances. Hmm. It could also be saying that financially old ways will not open new doors. Like some of you, it's like kind of routine. It's like you're defensive. You're holding on to your money tightly. Like you're just in that pattern. Um, and it's like leading to the same old poverty, the same old, just the same energy. There's just something, there's some kind of energy here where it's telling you to do something differently with your finances. Like maybe... I don't want to say because it's like you want to protect your finances too because it's like there's some kind of energy here where it's like causing poverty but I don't know if it's like your mentality like you're not saving money or you're spending money on the wrong things 
instead of investing in the right things. Um, and it's like, if you're not more cautious with your money, it's almost like you have this tower moment coming up. But you have, what will lead you to the Ten of Pentacles? What's going to lead you to the Ten of Pentacles? What energy? Seven of Cups. So this is like dreaming. If you're starting a business, maybe that you need to invest more in the right things. Maybe you're not planning well enough and you're just kind of investing in random things. And this could be just for a select few of you. But this is kind of like, I see this as like thinking, like taking a step back, slowing down, thinking, finding a balance. Six of Cups, Nostalgia. So yeah, I think that's more like, I see that as like introspective energy. Queen of Swords, Ace of Cups. So kind of the balance between these two energies where it's like she's vulnerable and she's open, but this one is like strong and assertive. So I just feel like an imbalance when it comes to money. Like you're either... God, how do I explain that? Like, you're defensive of it. Like, your relationship with money is not good, and it's leading to more poverty. Like, you have this tower moment coming in where it's, like, just more poverty is coming in. If, like, you... I mean, it's not... not I don't want to say more poverty is coming in, but there's, like, a need. And I think that you know what this is, because I'm getting kind of confused. But I usually don't get confused, but for some reason, I'm getting kind of confused here with the cards. So maybe it's just different for each one of you. I think for some of you, it's, like... You're spending a lot of money, but on the wrong things. Like, you're saving your money really tightly, and then you spend money on, like, little things that you don't need again and again. And then you don't actually, like, invest any money into your business or into the things that you really love. Um, or it's like there could be an energy around you that's just depleting your money that you need to take that back from. There's just some kind of energy where you need more of a balance. Like, you do need to be protective of your money, but, like, you need to, you're just out of balance. And I think you know what that, that lack of balance is already. So um, that was just a quick message. I want to get into the love reading. But, um, but you know, if that's if that's your story, you can also get a reading from me, and I'll look more in depth into it. I just know a lot of people are here for the love reading, so I don't want to go too much in too much more in depth to that. It's basically you just need your relationship with money um, is out of balance and that needs if you're ever going to get out of poverty you need to do whatever you're doing is not working I feel whatever path you're on and again for some of you if you're like opening a business or something it's almost like you're not planning well enough or like you're just investing in random things but you're not investing in the right things it's just that kind of energy where there's like I don't know you just you just need a better relationship with money you need to do things differently with that and you need to protect your money too if there's someone that's been stealing money from you intuitively like you feel like they're stealing money or you feel something's off it's kind of like saying um it's kind of just saying uh you know be cautious with that be cautious be balanced all right anyway let's get into the love reading okay what do you need to know about love queen of cups please cards be clear and direct queen of cups hanged man four of pentacles that energy came up before hmm what you want to say the star the three of wands the four of swords the two of wands again okay why not why not knight of pentacles reversed you guys must be having some financial stress or something because this this energy keeps coming up Ooh, okay Ten of Wands reversed, the Fool, and the Ace of Wands reversed. Okay. Can you guys see that? Sorry, I gotta adjust the light. Okay. <laughs> okay, so there's another message about money here. I'm probably gonna pull from my other deck after this because this message keeps wanting to come through. And it might just be for a specific couple people. But, um... God, that's frustrating because I wanted to do a love reading and it's just trying to go to finances. But I'm going to pull more cards and ask about love after this. Um, okay. And this could be your person too. I don't know if your person is going through financial difficulties and it's telling me like be cautious if this person comes back because they might be trying to use you for money. Maybe that could be the warning here with the person. I'm not sure. It's like you have this new perspective here. You have... Um, See, there's like hope here. There's the star and there's the fool. Like there's this potential for a new start. But again, it's talking about your relationship with money. There's something here with your relationship that, with money that just really needs to change. Um, 
you know, it's like letting go new perspectives, but it's like you're holding on to that money and you're planting these seeds, but there's still this defensiveness. And I think there's this need to, um, to like retreat, to rest, to be introspective. Maybe it's warning you to not to make any major decisions during Mercury retrograde, which we have coming up. Um, you know, it's saying kind of be cautious with your finances. There's just some strong warning here that's coming up for a couple of you regarding finances. Uh, Four of Swords, it's kind of like go inward and and really um, like rest, heal, rethink things because you're just going, whoever this is for, it's like you're just going in this, this repetitive pattern. Um, two of Wands here, let's see. It's like, yeah, redoing things, rethinking things, taking a step back. Because I think that you burnt yourself out with something. It's like with the Nine of Pentacles reversed here, it's like you were not rewarded for your hard work. You were just giving and giving and giving. Maybe you were giving to a company and it never really went anywhere. You never got promoted. And you're finally kind of just like releasing that dead weight. You're, you're, you know, you're cutting and clearing this. You're like, I've, this isn't, you're just going on this merry-go-round, this cycle with, with this company or this person, whatever this energy is, like you're just, it's just the same old, same old. And it was wearing you down. So I think you're letting go of the burden and you're, you have a new start coming in that you know you need to do. That you, that you need to have with the fool here and the ace of wands reversed it's almost like you got like a creative block here um i might have to do a new i'm gonna have to do a new reading for love actually because it's got way too much about finances so i'm just gonna keep pulling um i'm just gonna pull some card. i'm just gonna look into finances and i'm gonna do a separate reading for you guys for uh, love. So look, check back on my channel for that if you want to see the love reading. Um, sorry for all the confusion. But uh, let's see. I feel like there's just something that like didn't go well. There's just, I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know how to explain the energy. It's like, there's such a strong emphasis that there's something you've been doing. And it's like, I see, I keep seeing this heavy energy. Like, look how like defensive these women are that I keep, that I keep picking up. It's like, they're just the relationship with money is just negative. It's like you're not, it's not flowing into you the way that you want it to be. Um, it could be male or female. You know, with the star, it's like you're trying to plant seeds and you're trying to get into this power, but there's some, there's some kind of block there. And it could be like a subconscious belief that you're not worthy of money or that money is, is hard to come by, that life has to be a struggle. There's something to that. But there's, yeah, there's a need to rest and heal and step backwards. And with the two of wands, like rethink things. Like you just, I just get a strong need to do things differently. You're just in this repetitive pattern and you need to break free of that. Um, again, whatever it is, I don't know. I don't know if you're holding on to money too tightly. And it's like, you're like defensive with the money almost like you feel like you just have like a little bit and it's like your um god how do I explain that because it's like you need to save your money no like no doubt you do need to save your money but it's almost like a defensiveness where it's like you have this mentality that um you know that money is hard to come by or that money is isn't that you're never going to have the kind of comfortability and kind of life you want and you should protect your finances. I'm not saying that you shouldn't, but it's like, there's just a, it's like you're worrying about them so much that maybe you're pushing money away from you on some energetic level because you're so, you're so like your relationship with money just needs to change. I think that you know what that means. I don't, I don't know. I think it's going to be different for each one of you. There's just something to that where it's like, you should protect your money. I'm not saying that you should go out and waste it, but maybe like, maybe it's like you're spending money on little things. Like maybe, maybe you're not good at saving money. And so it's like, you're spending money on things and then maybe you feel bad about it. And it's like, you are, um, you, you become more protective of your money because you're spending money and you're not saving. So it's kind of like, you really need to sit down and be more mindful when it comes to your money. Like maybe um, just save some money towards things that you really want. Just kind of ch have more of a positive relationship with money. There's just like a need to really step back and get off this merry-go-round and, and rethink your relationship with money and do things differently. Again, whatever that means for you. For some of you, it means someone's stealing money from you or taking money from you for, for some reason or they're using you for money. 
maybe this person, maybe this is the ex that doesn't really love you, but they're they're not doing well financially or they're about to be homeless and so they might be coming in. For some of you, it's like you want to start a, a business or you want to start something, but it, it's like you're, you're, you don't have a business plan and you're just kind of investing in random things and then you're like, oh, this is so expensive, but it's like you're not sitting down and making a business plan so that you can invest in the right things. Or it's like you're spending money on little things and then pulling back and not spending money at all. It's like there's just such a lack of balance. And so it's like there's such a strong need to to stop, take a breath, do things differently, get off this merry You know what this is. Whatever this merry-go-round is, you got to get off that merry-go-round. Um, you know, two of wands here. Yeah, like just rethinking everything. Nine of Pentacles. I think this Nine of Pentacles and Ten of Wands is like a situation that you've been in where it's like you put all your energy and effort into something. You you invested in something that just did not work out for you. It's just a burden. And now you're letting that burden go. This could be a company. Maybe you've been with a company for a while and it's like you're giving it your all, but you're not getting a promotion. And so you're just kind of tired of that energy and it's like you need this new start, you know, and you know it, you know, it's time for this new start, maybe time to quit an old job that's just making you because this this energy is like defensive, stagnant, numb, just very, very negative relationship with money. Um, and it's like it's time for a new start. And with this, it's like there's a creative block, though. What do you need to do to get past that creative block? Like, what do you what do you want to say about that? Knight of Cups getting back in that romantic Inspir just inspiration, finding your hobbies, your passion, your inspiration again. Life cannot just be all struggle. Developing your intuition, the moon, mystery, enchantment. Just developing that love for life again. Finding finding your balance. Finding um, you know, your creativity again. Finding just just I see like the temperance card too. Like finding a just a really more of a neutral point. You're just so. It's like you're spending too much or you're spending too little. I feel like there's just such a lack of balance. So finding that balance, yeah. And again, getting past that creative block. So it's like your advice is, well, finding, you know, the balance is really important. Stepping back, rethinking things, getting off this merry-go-round cycle, kind of breaking free from your comfort zone. And with the Knight of Cups here... It's like, it's like this like romantic fantasy dream, like kind of energy where it's like, maybe you're, it's like you're stressing yourself out. And I think this is why it's coming up with the love reading too. Cause maybe some of you are like so focused on finances that it's hard for love to come in or it's hard to, to, you know, it's like, this is like, this is at the forefront of your mind. So it's difficult. Um, but like I said, I'm going to do another Leo video for, uh, for love. So this is probably just for a select few of you. This might not resonate with everybody, but there's someone needed this message I think with finances that there is some warning to avoid a tower moment and get off the merry-go-round and do things differently especially with mercury retrograde coming up you know it's possible that you just you need this that you need to save money you need to be more cautious with money um yeah knight of cups so like it's it's this dream like kind of energy I think life has become just all work and no play and there's just so much stress on you right now and I know it's hard financially like if you're in poverty it's hard it's hard not to be financially stressed it's hard not to be scared and I'm not saying just like oh you're you'll, you're fine whatever you'll make it I'm just saying you know you can't control it right now there's nothing you can do right now so maybe take an uncrossing bath try to relax try to budget more try to come if you're if you're starting a business try to come up with the business plan um, Try to see if there's some side jobs or something that you can do. Just just try to do things differently than what you're doing because you're causing yourself more and more and more stress. And it's like your relationship with money is getting more negative and it's pushing money away from you even further. And it's just a never ending downward spiral. And so you got to you got to take the necessary steps to get out of this downward spiral and have a better relationship with money because um, it's just what you're doing has not been working for you. If this is your reading. So yeah, and you see how like gentle this energy is compared to this energy. It's like it's light. It's it's hopeful. It's optimistic. She's yeah, getting past that three of swords energy. Some heartbreak here. Could also be okay for some of you. A couple of you might be being used by somebody. You might and you you would know if this is your reading. If this is resonating, and you know who this person is, like a couple of you might be being used by a partner for money and this three of swords might be saying like because I was asking I was like how would you how do you get past this it's like accept the heartbreak you know realize that you're being used and cut that nip that in the bud 
stop letting yourself be used by this person and start saving your money. You know, this is probably just for a couple of you. I mean, that's just, that's just for a select couple of you that are probably in that situation where you're being used for money and you need to be more cautious. And so it's saying, you know, stop holding on to this person that you know is using you and let them go and just deal with the heartbreak. Even if it hurts for a long time, get through it so that you can have, you can save your money and you can start attracting a better partner. Um, again, just to, just for a couple of you. could also be that you got your some of you might have gotten your heart broken and maybe you're spending money on trying to reconcile with this person and it's saying you know what no save your money save your money but but yeah you see okay you see how gentle this energy that is though compared to this energy see how different that is and it's like that's kind of the energy that your guides are asking you to get into like she's strong and she's confident he or she is strong and confident and it's like they're guarded with their money. They are they are careful with their money. They're not reckless, but it's like there's there's hope, there's optimism. They're getting off the merry-go-round and they're they're going forward. They're, you know, doing uncrossing baths, doing um clearing work, grounding themselves. It's like you're just in this panic where it's just a downward spiral and so you really need to take a step back and cleanse yourself, ground yourself, sage your apartment, uh your your house. Um try to think logically try to just you know take a step back because it's like you're just you're stressing yourself out and you're this control issues it's just like a neg never ending downward spiral and you're gonna hit this tower moment I think if you don't step back and rethink things and figure things out you know what I mean um so see, yeah this is like creativity it's openness and like I said I think that you have a new start it's possible for some of you that something something financially or business-wise went so badly in the past that you were afraid of this new start. And it's like, you're going to have to make a business plan, but you're going to have to get past this creative block and you're going to have to try again. And you're going to have to use your intuition and be grounded and balance this time. You're just so off balance. And it's like, you're not going to be able to be intuitive or find the answers until you can step back and breathe and ground yourself and really clear your head. Otherwise, you're just going to keep going and overthinking things and sabotaging things and going down this never ending, you know, negative downward side. <laughs> temperance. That's what I was saying. I was feeling the temperance card. You really need to balance your just your energy is so off balance right now. There's the more more defensiveness. What else do you need to know about money? King of Cups. That's interesting. Hmm. The lovers. Could be someone coming in that's better for you that's actually going to help you with money. And maybe you have someone in the past that's actually been, you know, causing issues with money. Could be a water sign. You might be, an, you might be a, you're a Leo and this person's a water sign. Judgment, making a judgment call. Two of swords. Yeah, just you just got to change a relationship with money. I don't even know what to say about it. It's like things just have to be done differently. You know what I mean? Things just need to be... They just need to be done differently. I think that you know what this is, though. I think that you understand. And I think that you're so, like, panicky right now or you're so stressed or you're trying to make things happen fast. And so it's like you're really stuck in your head right now. And you need to get out of your head so that these intuitive answers can start coming in. You are blocking your intuition right now. And I don't blame you. It's like, cause I don't know what your situation is. Like you might, you might have kids and you might be going off unemployment soon or something like that. So I'm not saying that your situation, I'm not taking your situation lightly at all. Like it could totally be incredibly stressful. I'm not saying it's not. I'm just saying that getting stuck in your head and overthinking it is it's you're not getting anywhere you're just you know what I mean like you're just going in circles inside your head and you're stressing yourself out more and money seems like it's being pushed further and further away from you and it's just a never-ending downward sp spi uh, spiral so no matter how hard it is you need to step back from that gather your thoughts clear your space clear your energy just breathe relax do something good for yourself maybe just watch a movie watch you know read do something that's just don't just sit there panicking about this. You know what I mean? Like, it's not helping. Um, I don't know if you can look for odd jobs or anything or maybe reach out to resources around you for some of you that really need that. Um, 
you know, I know there are resources that will help financially. And I, again, I'm not saying, like, your situation might be bad. I'm not saying it's not bad. I'm just saying that the downward spiral is, is you got to get, you got to get through that somehow. You know what I mean? Um, you got to figure something out here. Uh, and again, for some of you are starting a business and it's like you're investing in the wrong things or you're, you're not planning and it's kind of saying like, maybe it just something backfired in the past. Maybe it was like a job or a situation that just went negative. So you're kind of doubtful and afraid to take this new step. And it's saying like, you're going to have to get past this creative block if you want things to go somewhere for you. And this is that, that recommended energy was the Knight of Cups and the Moon. That was your, the, your guidance cards when it comes to getting out of this financial stress. Um, the, the, yeah, like it's, it's like kind of like a romantic, it's like a calm energy. It's like she's he or she is strong. They're confident. They're saving their money, but it's like, they're, they're open. They're, they're intuitive. They're, they're planning things out. They're taking a step back. They're relaxing. They're breathing. They're, they're figuring things out. They're using their intuition, they're, they're trying to find solutions. They're trying to balance. They're not, you know, like for your health too, you need to not go on this downward spiral. You need to kind of try to, I know it's hard though. It's hard when you're in poverty. I'm sorry. You know, cause some, a couple of people that are drawn to this video, you guys are stuck in that energy. So I'm sorry. There is, there is the sun here. So it's like, you guys, you can come out of this poverty. You, you can come out of it, but the solutions around you, it's like you can't, you're in this downward spiral and you're overthinking and you're so stuck in your head that you can't see the solutions. You know what I mean? It's like, maybe you just lost a job and it's like, there are a hundred other jobs around you that would be more beneficial to you. Jobs that would actually make you happy, but you're so focused on like, maybe trying to get that job back that you just lost or you're so like stressed out that you don't even want to do anything like you don't want to apply for jobs and it's like kind of saying you got it you got to get out of that energy and and start grounding and getting in this temperance energy and thinking about solutions um you know really just just finding that balance just getting off this this downward spiral I hope that helps you guys um, I'm going to go ahead and do the love reading now. So again, this is probably just for a few select people. If you're a Leo, this might not have been your reading. Maybe it is. I don't know. But um, but yeah. Um, anyway, if this resonates, please go ahead and subscribe. Thank you for watching.